Look, I'm sorry I haven't got any uh, videos to show you from when I've actually been riding the bike because um, I don't, don't own a GoPro or any camera like that. So I thought I'd just tell you about two little, uh, one really nice incident and one really potentially dangerous incident that occurred on the same road just uh, just outside town here, a few k's outside town. It's, uh, it's a road I ride on a fair bit because um, there's a few little hills and a um, bit of shade if it's you know, warm. But um, these two incidents were several years apart. The late, latter one, the, the good one, was um, only just a couple of weeks ago. But the first one, the dangerous one, or potentially dangerous was during um, the harvest as I call it because uh, this is an area where um, farming is is the, the main industry and um, they start the harvest um, late November early December um, and uh, it's mostly canola or wheat and anyway, I was heading out on this road, there's a, there's a very long, well, about a mile long straight on this road, but it's a very narrow road, the bitumen part is very narrow. Um, as you saw, perhaps on my bike, um, and if you ride a road bike, you know that they're not really designed for going on dirt. You lose control pretty easily if it's, if it's loose stuff. So um, this particular time um, I was heading out along this flat, or well, reasonably flat straight and uh, um, a big um, truck that was being used in the harvest. Uh, um, I don't think it was a B-double, I think it was just a, an ordinary semi-trailer. Um, started coming down the road towards me from the opposite direction. He came out from a paddock and he apparently didn't want to put his left hand side um, tyres over onto the bitumen. I'm indicating with my right arm because I was heading towards him so it was on my right. Um, and um, so he came along, he, I, I have to give him the, uh, you know, a bit of uh, nous that he realised it could have been dangerous so he he didn't drive very fast as he came past me. But I'm quite tall, I sit fairly high on the bike. I was right over to the left of the bitumen. My tyres would have been in it's six inches of the edge of the, the bitumen. And you know, semi trailers have these really large rear vision mirrors that hang out from the cabin. I had to actually bodily move move the top half of my body so that the driver's side mirror wouldn't collect me. That's how close I was to him and, and then the rest of the the rest of my ride along beside him, I reckon my right arm was probably within six inches of the side of his truck all that way and if it hadn't been that I used to race on uh, velodromes um, I reckon I could have could have been in, in trouble. The, the head beside the bitumen was just it was just you know grass and dirt and rubble and if I tried to get off the road um, it, you know, I would have come off for sure I don't like the idea of coming off, so I took my chances and got through to the other end, end unscathed. Um, anyway, so that that was that one, and that was daylight. Uh, the other one, as I said, just a couple of weeks ago, um, I was heading out. This is a early morning, very dark before sunrise. I'm, I'm usually out now because of because of being hot here during the day. I'm out at uh, you know, 5.15, 5.20 in the morning. 
I don't go very far, mind. But anyway, I was riding along this same road and no big trucks in sight, fortunately. And all of a sudden I could hear a little tick, tick, tick and a familiar sound of a bike rider. It, it had the sound of a pebble, a little pebble being caught in the tyre, the tread of the tyre. Mind you, there's not, not much tread on those tyres, but it is possible. So as you do, you reach down with your mitt on your hand and you wipe the front tyre, and no, it's still making the noise. Reach around the back, did the same there. No, it's still making the noise. So I wear a peaked cap to keep the lights and headlights of any oncoming vehicles out of my, my eyes. So I lifted my head up and possibly 10 metres in front of me, but going down the centre of the road, just as I was, was a wallaby, just hopping along the road. And it was the tick, tick, tick of the nails on his hind legs that I could hear <laughs> as, as, you know, he just kept pace with me, just up ahead of me, and uh, eventually pulled over and went off the, off the bitumen. Um, but it was a really lovely experience. Uh, I really wish I'd had a, a GoPro then, and one that worked in the dark. But as they say, say la vie. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed my little stories, both true, absolutely true. And uh, I'll catch you later. Bye.